Eco is what makes the world go round in Blue and Sea Battles 2. That's right, this little green number represents your eco and every 6 seconds that's how much money you will make to place down defenses or rush your opponent. Now in some of my previous videos and streams you guys have seen me get absurd eco numbers due to using bonanza mode play with fire and playing in curated private matches designed to get as much eco as possible. But what would happen instead of that I went into ranked matches inside of Hole of Masters against some of the best players in the world while trying to get as much eco as possible. Well that's what we're about to do today. I'm going to see how much eco I can get in three different matches going to round 30 and the goal is to hit 10,000 eco. So let's get it guys, let's see if I can do it. Alright our first match of today's video guys is on the map Sun Palace with the strategy Ninja Alchemist and Glue here. We're bringing the Glue Gunner because Glue, Gunner, Glue Gunner is going to be really good at stalling the rounds for us so we can get even more eco. And um, obviously getting as much eco as possible is going to be really important today. We're going to be trying to see how much eco I can get on round 30 is going to be like the benchmark I'll set. Obviously I can get more eco after round 30, but I'll kind of be taking the numbers at round 30 to see, um, yeah, how we'll do here. So let's get my um, ocean open down though. Perfect. Oh, I did end up leaking there, which is actually a little bit unfortunate. I did not mean to leak there. Um, That kind of sucks. I'll be honest. I wanted to take this game pretty late. So leak in there could be bad if they have Ninja Alchemist Heli, which I think is decently likely, but it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, stolen these rounds is going to be the most important thing for us. Let's get a glue gunner down right here on last, and let's get bigger globs on this, let's get sticky glue, and let's get stronger glue on this as early as possible. We want these rounds to be stalled to the maximum, ladies and gentlemen. Stalled to the absolute maximum. Oh, they're sending me blues. They definitely have Heli, don't they? Hmm. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. And we'll get stronger glue on this as well here in a second. Well, the problem is the glue is going to get blocked by some of their eco, right? So I don't know if the glue gunner is actually going to stole the rounds if their eco is the balloons that are getting hit by it. I want the glue gunner to be hitting the AI balloons, right? Would be the idea. Let's just buy stronger glue anyways. I think it'll still hit a decent amount of AI balloons, hopefully for us. Hopefully. They get their ninja down nicely done. Nicely done. Let's get my farmer down. Let's get my balloon bot down here. And it also starts throwing down some living coral on the map. Right about there. Perfect. All right. Good start so far. Yeah, the glue gunner is making a good, doing a good stall for us. You can see that these AI balloons are moving extremely slow before they get popped by my alchemist and stuff. That's exactly what we want here. Exactly what we're looking for. And then we'll send them green balloons here. Just going to be maximizing my economy as much as humanly possible. Green balloons are the fastest eco balloons sent on round five right here. Uh, do I go stronger acid on this alchemist or do I upgrade my ninja? I think I'll probably upgrade my ninja here against this. Yeah, let's go sharp shurikens. And then we'll probably get a double shot eventually as well. Keep throwing down those living corals. Nice. Okay, yeah, my glue is actually hitting a decent amount of the AI balloons. I was worried that all the green balloons they'd be sending would be blocking my glue from hitting the AI balloons and stolen the round. But it seems like it's the glue's doing its job still, which is good for us. It's doing its job, ladies and gentlemen. All right, one more eco boost to get double shot up. Come on. Double shot has been bought. We're good. We're good, we're good. And keep throwing down these living corals. Nice. And we'll send them a lot of yellows here. I might need a tower boost this round, to be honest. I think I will. Yeah, we're gonna overrun pretty hard. Wait, do I need a tower boost? Boost. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Good. I did indeed need to. That's fine. Just want to keep on max eco and I could have built up more defense against that and not tower boosted guys, but building up more defense would have slowed down my eco even more, right? Because I would have needed to save up for more defense. Well, which I guess I need more defense now, but you know what I mean. Send us some zebras. There's enemy zebras. Do I need to... Hmm. I need an elk buff against these. I think I'm going to sell my... Actually, one more eco boost to get the elk buff up. I think I'll be good. Come on, berserker brew. We're fine. Alright, we're good. Keep max eco in. We're almost at a thousand eco in round 10 here. So we're on pretty good pace right now, guys. On pretty good pace. My goal, I think, would be to get like... If I can get 8,000 eco on round 30, I think that's a good goal to hit. 8,000 eco on round 30 is my um is my overall goal here in today's video. I think that'd be pretty solid, Mark. All things considered. 
All right, let's set up some space rainbows here. And then after this round, I will save up for a rubber to gold on my end will be the plan. Okay, we're at almost 1,200 eco. has just been hitting around 12. All right, good. So right now we're doing about 100 eco per round, but a lot of these later rounds, you'll be getting, I'll be getting a lot more than 100 eco per round. So hitting 100 eco per round in the first 12 rounds is pretty good pace, I think. Okay, I want to save up for rubber to gold here. Even though I'm going to have to stop my eco to save up for rubber to gold, it's going to be worth because the rubber to gold will in turn give me a lot of money to um then put into eco later on. That makes sense. Rubber to gold has been bought. Nice. Oh, my ninja's kind of anti-stalling though, I just realized. Hmm. Do I want to move my ninja? Would that be a smart decision? Well, actually, now it's not really anti-stalling that much. It's actually a glue splatter on this, so I'm hitting more, slowing down more balloons. Would be smart. Oh, I'm sending them black balloon, Nico, which is not very smart for me because that is feeding their rubber to gold. We'll switch, we'll, switch, we'll switch over to yells and pinks. I probably should move my ninja back, huh? But then I, then I might get, be in trouble defensively if I move my ninja. Maybe I just keep it how it is. Oh, I know something I could do. Um, Let's do this. Let's go for a ninja right here. On close. And we'll get distraction on it. Yeah, look at that. It's going to distract some of the AI balloons. Because the AI balloons follow this path. And then the, the rounds will get stalled a little bit. I feel like this is smart. Because the AI balloons take this specific um, bin right here. While the synth balloons don't. All right, that's good. Now we're in round 17. Um, I'm actually going to start to mix in some zebra blue Nico at them. Mix in a little bit of zebras just to really maximize my eco. Let's upgrade this ninja a little bit to distract more. All right, I like how I like how we're playing this out right now. We're getting up as much as eco as possible. We just want to mix in some of the faster eco balloons now. Okay, the AI balloons are starting to be a little bit of a nuisance. Let's get perishing potions on my alt buff. All right. They got double rubber to gold on their side, so they're going to make a lot of money from rubber to golds. That is a certainty. They are going to make a ton of money from their rubber to golds, which is fine. That is totally fine here. 2,500 eco is not bad at all. Let's keep throwing on those living corals. They end up going for a flash bomb on their side with stronger stimulant. Alchemist, okay. Fair enough. We're almost at 3k eco. That's pretty good pace, I'd say. It's actually, do I move this back now? I feel like I need to move my ninja at some point to make sure these rounds are getting stalled more. Let's go for a, okay, they have heli. That's a little bit unfortunate because I probably do lose late game against heli, since I, especially since I leaked, which is bad for us, but we'll see what we can work with, guys. We'll see what we can work with. Maybe with all my eco, I'll be able to win late game because just because I have a lot of money to rush them with. So maybe I'll have one trick up my sleeve there. We'll have to play it by ear. Get a second rubber gold up. Okay, it's sold the Alk buff so I can continue max ecoing. Let's throw down the ocean arms. Oh, the ocean arms are going to anti-stole. I just realized that. That's bad. We'll send them purple blue Nico. Okay, we'll keep the ninja back here because we want to stole the rounds. We'll keep the ninja back here. Yes, yeah, is good. Stolen the rounds is key here. We'll go for a glue hose to stole as well. All right, I like it. I like our defensive setup now. This should be pretty good for stolen. 4,000 eco round 22 right now. Okay. Now purples are gonna be the fastest eco balloon I can send in the game. So we're just gonna keep sending those for a while here. Um, The only way I'd be able to increase the rate I'm getting eco is if I had an eco village, which I could have gone like, I definitely could have gone Ninja Alchemist Village, but I think Ninja Alchemist Glue might be better for this challenge just because the glue stoles the rounds more, if that makes sense. But Ninja Alk Village definitely could have been an option to get a lot of eco as well. They're saboing. What's the sabos about? They have three sabos on their side. I'm not sure exactly what they're cooking with those. Maybe they're trying to sabo to make the rubber to golds hit more purples or something. I don't know. I feel like it would have been better just to go for more rubber to golds though, if, if that was their idea. Guess they're on trees. Actually, I probably shouldn't be throwing on trees. The trees keep on throwing at the start of the map, which is anti-stalling, which is exactly, it's not what we want at all. So maybe trees are a bad idea here for us. The trees might just be a bad idea, ladies and gentlemen. 
Wait, my 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 send stopped. What what is going on? I can't keep, I can't send balloons. Hello. My internet's fine. Did I DC? Okay, we're back. Okay, they sent me a fortified ZMG. That's fine. Go for a glue stole on this. We'll go for a sticky bomb right here. We'll go for a stronger stimulant. Honestly. Let's go for a master bomber against... No, master bomber would be a bad idea, right? Because master bomber would stole anti-stole the rounds. I don't want to do master bomber against this. Master bomber would be a bad idea. We'll sabo. Balloon Jitsu. Okay, keep it going. We're gonna unstable concoction our side. This should be able to defend my current setup. Should be pretty good. All right, we're good. Pop, just, uh, sell a lot of that stuff because now I want to stole the rounds again. And try to fit maximum ninjas inside of these places for late game. We're at seven thousand eco. Okay, what was my what was the goal I said? Did I say seven thousand five hundred? I think we might be able to hit ten thousand by round thirty, which actually be pretty crazy. I don't remember what I said my um my goal was this game, but I might be able to hit ten thousand. Okay, even though I'm placing these ninjas, these ninjas are not really anti stall much, right? Because these are not un uh, not upgraded really. Uh, I could throw it on the trees, but the trees just anti stall whenever I use the trees. So I don't really want to use trees here. Where do I want to have my elk buff? Probably right here is a fine spot for the elk buff. We're gonna wait as long as possible to build up my perma brew just because I want to stall the rounds. And perma brewing these ninjas would not stall them very much. Okay, we're at 8,000. Let's, let's buy perma brew now. 8,790 was my amount of eco at round 30. 8,790. Okay, that's pretty good. 8,790 is the number to beat for the next game, guys. Now I've got to see if I can win this game, which I don't think I'll be able to win just because they have the life advantage and they have a good strategy. But we'll try our best still, you know. We'll try our best. Okay, they're sending me a BAD. This is actually good for me that they're sending one of these. Go for one of these glue hose. Okay, this should defend pretty well. Yep. That defends. And then we get this glue hose back in a second. Alright, I think I'm going to stop my equal at 10,000 this game. Um, Would be the plan. We're almost at 10,000 eco. I'm just not going to have very much money to rush them to the thing. I don't know exactly how I want to do this. Do I want to rush them right now? Honestly, might be the best idea to rush them right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Before they build up a, a huge permabrew army on their side. I'm going to mix in ZMGs with B80s. Okay, that's pretty much all I can send. I don't... I think this is my best shot at winning the game, to be honest. I probably will lose, but... That's just because the matchup wasn't that good for me here. But this was my best chance. Okay, how many stacks do we have on this? We almost have 10, so we can defend counters. I'm pretty sure they'll pop my BAD, though. 
I probably should have sent one more fortified BAD mixed in with the ZMGs. I don't think my ZMGs blocked for the BADs very well, which was my goal with it. No, they defended. They defended. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay. I'll catch you guys in the next game. Next game, I might go the same strategy. I might switch it up a little bit. We'll see. But the goal is to beat that eco amount. So let's get it. All right, guys, our next match of today's video, we have switched up the loader here. Different map as well. We're going the strategy of Dartling Ice and Farm, believe it or not, which actually should be a pretty good strategy for um the type of thing we're doing today because this strategy, you can stall the rounds with the Ice Tower and you can get a lot of eco because you have Village as well. So honestly, this might have been a better move for eco over Ninja Alkalu as last match, but we'll have to wait and see. We're going to Narnia here. Um, I think they brought Fate Weaver Adora. Yeah, so it's probably Bolt Alchemist Spike Factory from them is my current guess, which is a good strategy. Um, but yeah, our plan just to be stole these rounds as much as possible. And honestly, I think I've got a chance of winning this game. Last match, um, I really didn't have a chance in that matchup against Ninja Alchemist Heli, especially after I leaked round one. But this time, I think I've got a pretty decent chance I can win if I play the map well. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, okay, there's going to be green balloons, which are a little bit annoying. Let's get my pat down. All right. Do I fit an ice tower with Pat here? That's the that was the goal with the placement. Kind of leave some room for the ice tower, but I don't know if I'll be able to fit an ice tower in there. I don't know. And I also want to place Pat and my ice tower a little bit farther down the track instead of placing it like up here. So then the balloons have to travel farther to be popped. Thus the rounds are stalled more. Okay, my ice shards is not going to be in the range of Pat, I see. Hmm. That is a little bit of a problem. Get so faster barrel spin on my darling. I'll leak a little bit here, but that's totally fine. I'll probably go for an icicles then, I think. I won't go for an ice shards this game. I'll go for an icicles with my pat. Would be the plan. And we'll keep this guy on close just so it kind of hits into this um corner. Yeah, that's good. We want pat hitting into the corner of the the corner of the track so it maximizes its pierce more often than not. Is important there. All right, they got their cannon ship up, so nicely done. They are going to anti-stall a little bit with the cannon ship. That's one concern here. The cannon ship does kind of pop the balloons early, doesn't it? Hmm. That is a little bit of a concern. Send him some greens. I'm going to need to upgrade this to um, powerful darts eventually here. Let's do it now. All right, we're good. All is good here. And then, okay. So we will want to get an ice tower at the very top of the map at some point to stall the rounds, as I was saying earlier. Don't know when that will be. Maybe round seven, because I'll need the ice tower for yellow balloons anyways. We'll probably get permafrost on it as well, just to slow down the balloons after they get hit. I think it's going to be a smart decision. So it's kind of like a glue stall. You know how we went for the glue stall last game? We'll be going for an ice stall this game. So go for an ice up here with permafrost. Oh, that did not hit any AI balloons, though. It only hit their synth balloons. It's not really what I was going for there. All right, send some yellows here. Our defense should be able to hold yellows that we've got here with the ice and the pat and the dartling. We should be good. Yeah, it looks fine right now. All right, all right. Round eight. We'll keep sending them yellows. My eco is a lot... What was our eco last game at this point? I actually don't remember. Our eco might be a lot worse. It might be better. I'm not entirely sure what our eco was looking like last game at this point. Okay, yeah, but we'll go for an icicles with our pat. Be the plan. Our eco might be worse early game this time around, but later in the game, I think our eco will be better because we have village to increase our eco. Last game, we did not have village to increase our eco. So the village is going to be very important this game. You get 20% faster eco. Um, with the bottom path village. The village will be huge for us. Alright, they got their spike factor down and everything nicely done. I am going to be really greedy here. I'm going to get this cryo cannon in a second. Cryo cannon has been bought. Perfect. Yeah, I think I had a little bit more eco on this round last game. But that's totally fine. We still got like a thousand eco round 11, which isn't bad at all. It's not a bad pace. In the slightest. Let's get enhanced freeze and let's make it attack a little bit faster. Slow down more balloons from the AI path. Keeps on strong, probably. Okay, we almost have 1200 eco. It's pretty good. Oh, one concern is if they send me... Okay. There's this really smart rush that my opponent could send me, which would kind of ruin me. But I'm going to hope that they don't realize it. 
One rush they could send me that would absolutely be really bad for me is if they send me region rainbows, guys, what would happen is this ice tower would hit the region rainbow layer, but it can't hit the zebra bloom layer. And then it'd pop it down. Okay, let's get uh that up. It hit the region Z Re rainbow layer, but not hit the zebra bloom layer. It'd pop it down. And then there'd be a bunch of region zebras coming down the track, which would then regrow into more regrow rainbows. But I kind of want to keep this ice up here nonetheless, because the ice is stalling the rounds for us. So that's just a... Uh, that's just something we gotta like, you know, play around. We gotta hope that my opponent doesn't realize they're rushing, um, they're rushing capabilities against me here. I mean, I could maybe target my Dartling and stop some of the regrow. Definitely, definitely is an option, but yeah, I think I might go for a refreeze to be honest. At some point, we have the slowdown, but I might want to go for a second ice to stall the rounds even more. I'm trying to figure out what's smarter. Start and save it for my village to get more eco from the village or go for a better stall with some of the ice. Because both routes are not bad. This is on strong, right? Yeah. I also need to be prepared for if my opponent were to rush me. Let's, let's mix in some zebra blue eco at them real quick. Get a second ice down. Okay, we should be good here. Zebra Blue Nico is actually really important for me to send right now because Zebra Blue Nico will stole the rounds for me since they don't have that much defense right now. Kind of block some of their um, projectiles, stole the rounds. All right, 2,500 eco. Not bad. I'm not making rubber to gold money like I was last game though, which definitely plays into it. Hmm. Do I go for a... Do I go for an Arctic Wind? I think I shall. Arctic Wind to stole the rounds. Okay, they're sending me white balloons. Which get through the Arctic Wind, that's totally fine. And there's sending me zebras behind. Not a dumb rush yet by any means, but the Arctic Wind's not for their balloons, it's for the AI balloons in the first part to slow down the AI balloons. Is the whole idea with the Arctic Wind. Okay, we got some ceramics coming out from the AI path here. Okay, we gotta refreeze ice as well to stall the rounds even more. R round 20, we got a Moab coming out. Oh, this is on strong, right? Okay, I need this to knock back the mob for me. Oh, they're sending me a BFB. Okay. They're sending me a BFB here. I need to actually pop this guy. Yeah, them sending me rushes definitely gonna impact my eco a little bit here. Um, laser cannon? And we'll go for an Arctic wind down here as well. Let's boost this. Please defend. Am I in trouble? Knock it back. Oh, let's go. Good knockbacks, Pat. Good knockbacks, Pat. Come on. Let's go. Pat just saved me from that. I wanted to really maximize my eco there. Oh, and he's sending me a ZMG as well. This is really complicating things. Okay. Okay, I need to get this Plasma Accelerator up. This is really complicating things for me. Because this is slowing down my eco substantially here. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat my eco I got last game. Especially with these rushes they're sending me. They should defend. They should defend. Okay, we're good. Come on. Send them purple. Send them purple, Blue Nico, now. Send them purple, Blue Nico. Let's go for a village. We gotta get the price upgraded village now. Alright. Now we've got the purple, Blue Nico, with the uh, monkey city going. So now we have the maximum eco rate coming out for us. But it took us a long time to get there is the problem. They sent me a bunch of rushes that slowed down my eco, su eco substantially. Which... Definitely sting a little bit. And we also want to stall these rounds to the maximum. So I'm going to get a couple more ice towers up at the top. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to beat the, like... I think it was like 9,000 eco I got last game. I don't remember the exact amount, but... 
I don't know if we'll be able to beat it here. It's a very tough task to pull out, pull off, ladies and gentlemen. Very tough task to pull off. We'll go for an, uh, Jungle Drums Village here, though. 6,200 eco so far. It's not bad. Not bad at all. We've got these rounds getting stalled a lot now, which is fantastic for us. Might as well go for an MIB village with these as well. So these guys are freezing frozen balloons. That's not a bad idea either. These guys are freezing everything now. Okay, we got a Moab. We'll just target our Dartlings against these. All is good. We're almost at 7,000 7, eco has been hit. Okay. That's a good sign. 7,000 eco is not bad at all here. Really, if I could hit 10,000... I'm going to do three games in today's video, by the way. I don't know if I said that. If I can hit 10,000 eco in one of the games by round 30, I think that's going to be a um, goal accomplished. Because 10,000 eco round 30 in whole Masters is actually kind of insane. So, if I can do that, I'd be happy. We're almost at 8,000. They've stopped their eco. They're definitely going to send me Russian round 30. And I'll probably be screwed against it because I'm trying to maximize my eco here. But, we'll see what we can do. 8,000 eco. I don't think I'll hit 10,000, but I think I might pass what I had last game, which is still a W in my book. Okay, let's prepare a, um, what would be a Hydro Archipods on my end for late game, or a MAD. I'll stop my eco right when it hits round 30, because this game's probably not going to go very late like the Ninja Elk game did. Right when I hit round 30. I don't, I'm not going to hit 10k, but I'm going to be, it's going to end pretty soon here. We got a couple of boons stolen on our side, but my opponent anti-stalled. 9,303. Okay. This is the amount, ladies and gentlemen. 9,303. Okay, they're boosting their spikes in the back. That makes sense. Get an MAD on our end. Alright. I think... Hmm. How do I want to play this? We can go for a um, Super Brittle right here. For sure, eventually. I never even got Monkey Opus on my end. I didn't even realize that till now. Monkey Opus would have been a smart decision, I think. We'll get a couple price discount villages here. So I can micro a homeland defense inside the range of them. Pat's only level 14 at this point, dude. Pat levels up so slow. What the heck? I didn't even realize that till now. How slow Pat levels up. That's actually kind of bad. Level 14 on round 33. I definitely would have expected to be higher level than that. So with Super Brutal, it's better to spam um, Blue Narrow Denial Systems late game over Plasma Accelerators. So that's what we'll be doing. Because we got Super Brutal hitting a lot of what, what what they'll be rushing me with. It's a pretty good spot. I think they're going for the defend, though, is the thing. And honestly, they shouldn't really be able to defend much with Bulldog Spike Factory late game. The Spike Factory is definitely full off, eventually. They've got Perma Brew with a bunch of Spike Storms. It looks like... They do have the life advantage, so I do definitely have to rush them, but I don't think they'll defend at all. No shot, they'll be able to defend a couple of fortified BADs. The spike factories just don't have enough damage to pop a ton. Especially if I mix in some ZMGs as well. To block some of the spikes. Yeah, if they don't rush me, I'll probably rush them like round um 38 or something. Would be the plan. I do think I'm making more money than them right now. Their eco is definitely not close to 9.3k. And I think our eco lead will make up for the extra money they're making from boat farms. I do think I am probably making more money than they are making right now. But they might have more money from the previous rounds than me. Because I spent a lot of money into purple eco early. So so I'm making more money. But they might have more. They definitely have more money currently than me, I think. So that's the difference. Alright, if they rush me, I build up a ton of Blue Narrow Denial Systems on my side and probably do a Homeland Defense and Boost. Alright, let's send them. Wait, no, it's not round 38 yet. When round 38 hits, I'll send. When round 38 hits, I'll send. I have $200,000, so I have a decent amount. And I can sell, obviously, if they don't counter me, I can sell a lot of my defense, right? If they counter me, I'll need to keep up defense and, like, pop their BADs. But if they don't counter me, I can sell a ton of my defense for, to send them even more. The thing is, also, their placements aren't that good. Their Perma Spike and their Super Mines pile will definitely get overrun pretty quickly by a rush.
I don't know why my BEDs and stuff look like that. There's some glitch going on with my the balloon skins for me right now, which is really weird. Okay, they're countering me. Come on. Pop, pop, pop. Upgrade that to an Icicle and Pale. We're actually defending. We're actually defending. They're dead. And we're defending. Look, we popped all their BDs. Besides one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We defended. Kinda. DDTs are coming out towards me. Let's go! That was actually so close. What the heck, bro? That was actually so close. Oh my gosh. Okay, by the way, guys, I looked at the recordings. The first game, I had 8793 eco when round 30 hit. In the second game, I had 9303 eco on round 30. So, our third and final match, guys, we are about to hop into it. Let's see if we can hit the mystical 10k eco mark on round 30. This is going to be crazy. Let's get it. All right, our last match of today's video, guys, is on the map garden with the strategy Darlance Village once again here. We're against Bob Tezzy, who's starting with their Fate Weaver door. All right, I'm going to start with my dartling here now guys this might not look first meets the eye like the best map for this type of challenge trying to get as much eco as humanly possible but garden can actually get stalled a lot here because a lot of the time people go dart on this map and if they go dart sometimes they place all the dart monkeys down here for like spolts and stuff and then the ai balloons have to travel all the way down through the map to get popped and that means the rounds get stalled and you get a lot of eco so i'm actually happy that i'm seeing dart here so this is, could be really really good for me if these rounds get max stalled for us, we'll be able to just farm eco up the wazoo here. So, yeah, they get their spolt down. Nicely done. I'm going to get my pat down pretty soon here. Probably place you, like, right here will be my pat spot. Kind of on the corner. All right. I am going to leak, but that's totally fine. Just want to maximize my eco here. And then, hmm. I'll probably just play this very similarly to how I played last game, I think. Similarly to how I played last game. Don't know what load of my opponent's going, obviously. Um, we'll have to wait and find out. Could be like Dart, Dart, Sniper, Ninja or something. That's a load I've seen a lot of people bring on this map. And I brought it in a couple of my videos as well. So, I guess that's my current guess of their load up. But we don't know until we actually see all three towers. Right, chat? Right, chat? All right, let's upgrade this to faster barrel spin. And we'll just keep Max Eco in here. All right, they're sending me pinks. I'll probably send them some pinks in a second here. Even though pinks give you eco slower than blue balloons, it allows you to save up more for um, greens and yellows, which give you eco faster. So, sending pinks is actually good to maximize your eco here. Because they're really efficient balloons too. Let's get my farmer down. Let's get my balloon bot down. Do I go for an ice tower to stole the AI balloons? Or See, that's the it's a little bit of a interesting question. Because if I go for an ice tower to stole the AI balloons, I am helping stole the rounds, but I'm spending money on defense. That I'm not spinning on eco. So there's a give and a take there, right? It's either I spend money straight on eco right now and get as much eco as possible, or I spend a little bit of money to maybe stole around a couple more seconds. What's the better route to take? I'm not exactly sure. Uh we'll just we'll just focus on defense right now and eco, and I might get that ice down eventually. To stall these rounds even more. Is what I'll do. Alright, send them some black balloons here. Because they're going to send me yellows for sure on round 7. So we actually do need the ice anyway. So we'll go for the ice right here instead of right here. Because this way it'll help me out against the yellow balloons that they send me. We'll get permafrost on it. Yeah, look at this. It's going to slow down some of the AI balloons after it hits them. Oh, that red balloon's going to be really slow. Yep. Oh, it actually the ice actually clipped it. Never mind. I didn't think the ice would be able to clip that. Alright, send me yellows. They're sending me yellows as well. I should be pretty good against yellows, I think, with my current setup. Yeah, it looks like we're chilling at the moment. All is good. They actually will probably have more eco than me, believe it or not, on some of these early rounds just because their defense is cheaper. But that's totally fine. I'll definitely pass them an eco later because we have village to increase our eco and we'll have the ice stalls and stuff. But yeah, early game, dart is definitely cheaper than um dartling ice. I like where my eco's at though right now. We're at like, yeah, look at this. Almost 900 eco in round eight. This is a really good pace. Very, very good pace here for us. 
Send them zebras this round. Keep this on. This should be on strong, probably. How is this doing? Seems like this is doing decently against the zebras. They have sniper, so it's definitely dart sniper ninja for my opponent, I think. Let's actually use pad ability here. I'm leaking a little bit. That's totally fine. Yeah, look at my eco, bro. We're almost at 1100 eco. We'll get we'll go ice shards in this map instead of icicles because this is a decent ice shards map. So ice shards will be the play. Ice shards is the play for sure here. Oh, the one thing though is that their sniper will anti-stall a little bit. Hmm. Their sniper farms are definitely gonna anti-stall some of the later rounds, which is a concern for sure. The early rounds are getting stalled a lot, but the later rounds are gonna be anti-stalled a little bit. Don't know how we're gonna be able to play around that necessarily. But look at my eco, dude. 1300 eco round 12. That's fantastic pace. So even if the later rounds get anti stole a little bit, I might still be able to make up for it just because my early game eco is so strong that it'll be able to fund my later game eco. I'll be able to switch over to like purple balloon eco and get my increased eco village a lot earlier than it did last game. Would be pretty nice if that can happen. Okay, um, we need to figure out a good way to defend though because AI balloons can become an issue with how my defense is set up. Darling Ice is definitely a little sketch on this map. It's definitely a little sketch. Okay, we're good. Alright. <laughs> See what I'm talking about, guys? It's definitely not the best start on the ice map, but we're making it work. We're making it work. Alright, 700 eco so far. We're on pink balloons now. They actually went for a flash bomb on their side, interestingly enough. Is that a decamo flash bomb? I think it is. We'll do the same thing we did last game, where we send, like, zebra balloons and stuff before I sent you know, my increased eco village. I think that's the order I should go for. Zebra Blue Nico, and then I'll get the Increased Eco Village, and then Purple Blue Nico after I get the Increased Eco Village up. Okay. Remove the obstacle. Let's actually upgrade this to Enhanced Freeze. Slow down a little bit more often. Alright. All is good. We're getting these rounds slowed down. They send me a Moab Rush. I need to be ready, obviously. So far, nothing. I'm just gonna have a bunch of Ice Towers on the map. It looks kind of weird. This can be upgraded to an Ice Schools against a Rush. These ice towers are to help stall the rounds. I know it looks odd, but guys, there's there's um methods to this madness, all right? There's methods to this madness. My I like my eco though. We're almost at 3k eco on round 17. Our pace is really good right now. Our pace is very, very good. Round 18. Are they gonna send me any fortified mob type stuff? Currently it does not look like it. Just let these balloons travel all the way across the map for the most part. I probably should have upgraded this one to Cold Snap so it hits some of the Camel Greens to slow them down. I didn't realize it wasn't Cold Snap till now. That's fine though. We still got this stalled a decent bit from this ice. Come on, target my Dartlings. Don't pop these red balloons. Alright, there we go. That round got max stalled. Alright, AI balloons are going to be a little bit of a problem here, aren't they? Oh, a little bit of a problem. More like a lot of bit of a problem. Let's use Pad Ability. Get cryo cannon on this guy. Okay, I think we're good. We're good, we're good. Round 20. We got an AI Moab coming out here. Let's target my Dartlings on the Moab. Let's get up a village here. Start getting some increased eco coming in pretty soon. This should be able to knock back the Moab a little bit for us. Yep. Stole the insides with the, the cryo cannon. Don't pop the insides, just stole them. Okay, opponent almost died to the Moab. I would have been really mad if they died. Dude, if they died to that Moab and just sold this game for me, I would have been... Oh, I would have been fuming. I would have been fuming. Okay. We got an increased eco village up. That's good. Once I get the Monkey City, I will go for... Once I get the Monkey City, I'll send them purple blue Nico. Actually, it's just them purple blue Nico right now. I'm almost there. Saving up for it. Okay, we got the Monkey City up. We got Purple Blue Nico coming in here. We're almost at 5k eco on round 22, guys. This is crazy pace right now. And now we're about to get up a Arctic Wind on our side. Pretty soon here. This is very, very good pace. So much better pace than the previous two matches, I'm pretty sure. Get another Arctic Wind up. Okay, they're sending me one of those. That actually is going to complicate things a lot here. Um... What's the best route to take this? 
Because now... Hmm. I've seen I've seen pink blue Nico here. I've seen pink blue Nico. That's fine. We'll boost this. Slow down the out. Slow down the balloons. The purple balloons from the AI path just ruined me, dude. There's no way I. I just sold, I just sold, I just sold. I, I'm pretty salty after the last one, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I had like 6,000 plus eco in round 24. I think I definitely would have hit 10K by round 30. But let me know if you'd like to see me try this again at another point for the channel. I had a lot of fun making today's video. And if you did enjoy, please hit the like button and the subscribe button as always. But that's it for today. I'm like out. Peace, lads.